get into the 21st century like the rest of the house. And how much is this small renovation going to cost? I don't know. I haven't looked into it yet. Maybe 3000 or something? 3000 Oh, come on, Laura. You know it's going to cost a lot more than 3000 Listen, I'd love a new kitchen, too, but we're just not in a position to waste money right now. Jamie, are you being careful, honey? Well, one could argue that this boat is a big waste of money. Something on it is always breaking. It's a big money sucker. That's what it is. Jamie, put the pocket knife down and come over here, please. It's, it's almost time to go. Stop being such a helicopter, Mom. He's too young to have it. Loosen up a bit. Oh, hang on a sec. Sorry, I, I just, I have to take this. Hang on. Hannah, hey, no, 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 tell me everything. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, well, call me in a bit. You're the best, thank you. Oh, can you hang on to this? I want to read that when I get home. Oh, there's still no suspects. That's weird. So how's Hannah? That was her, right? Don't do this again. She's my assistant. That's what she does, she calls. Yeah, your assistant who you asked to tell me everything. <laughs> oh my God. Jamie! Jamie! Are you okay? You alright? Okay. Where does it hurt? My leg. You've been under the dock. That could have gone south easily. Can he swim? Not really. <gasps> he cut his finger on that damn knife. It's just a scratch. Oh, baby. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Docks aren't such a good place for kids to play. Yeah, I agree. Can you get up, bud? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Come on. Thanks again, by the way. I'm, I'm a great helper. Elliot. And you? I, I didn't catch your name. Oh, Laura. Laura. Mrs. Jamie. Oh. Hi, Jamie. All right. You gave us a scare, mister. Let's go get you dried off. Come on. All right, play ball. Charlie, don't hog it. Woo! Yeah. All right. <laughs> OK. He is hot. And you're married. Yes, we're married, but we're still hot-blooded. <laughs> Damn, that kind of that body. What I wouldn't do for a piece of that. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on, don't tell me you wouldn't do him. I wouldn't do him. Yeah, of course he wouldn't. <laughs> well, I sure as hell would. <laughs> so, uh, what's the scoop? I don't know. I haven't talked to him much. Yeah. All I know is he saved my son, and Greg just invited him over for dinner. Who are we gossiping about now? Damn it, Bill, you scared me! Are you planning to come back in to finish making dinner? Or is wine your new appetizer? Yeah, I'm coming. Good, because I'm okay. starving. Okay. Good. Hey, Laura. Hey, Bill. I hate it when he spies on me. All right, Charlie, come on. It's time for dinner. Oh, if only our husbands would be on that diet and, uh, you know, maybe exercise once in a while. They might have a chance of looking like that. Trust me, I'd be a much more attentive wife. All right, buddy, let's go. See you, Mira. Oh, Hannah, you are a lifesaver. Okay. No, I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you are the best. Okay. Yeah, got it. This is stunning. Oh, thank you. You painted it. I did. <laughs> Do you sell? I used to when I had a studio, but Greg turned it into a workshop a few years ago. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Oh, you are the best. Thank you so much, beautiful. Okay, bye. That's just his assistant from the phone. Right. Hope you're hungry. Yeah. Little guy asleep? Out cold. Perfect. He's a really nice boy you guys got there. Oh, thank you. He turned seven last month. Oh. oh, no, 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 not that one, honey. That's our anniversary bottle. Grab the Merlot next to it. Our 10 years coming up. Well, congratulations. Thank you. All right, I'm starving. Let's dig in. Okay. 
Yeah. So a contractor that sails, that is a combo I like. Oh, yeah? Sure, I'm always looking for other guys who sail. And a contractor. Oh, no, here we go. Laura wants to put in new cabinets and give the kitchen a bit of a facelift, so to speak. And I keep telling Greg to stop resisting it because it will be a really straightforward job. What do you think? You're right when you say it would be straightforward. It's when you start blowing out walls that things become expensive. Elliot, buddy, you are not helping me out here, man. <laughs> Sorry. I do actually have a free window right now for work, and I could give you folks the friends and family, right? Seriously? Yeah. That'd be great. Why don't you run an estimate by Laura, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Here's to my new kitchen. <laughs> Cabinets. Small job. Uh -huh. Small job. <laughs> Ah. Oh, how's that? It's uh, it's fine. Uh, okay, oh. okay. Uh, honey, I don't think I'm into it tonight. <laughs> Can we try tomorrow? <sighs> Sorry. I understand. Okay, good night. <sighs> good night. I am so freaking jealous. I know, it's gonna be like a brand new kitchen. No, not about your new kitchen. I'm talking about you spending the summer with Mr. Sexy. Oh. <laughs> okay, is he married? I don't think so, no ring. Huh, girlfriend? No idea. Oh, I'm so gonna have to do him. And live out the whole suburban mom's fantasy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Seriously, you've been watching way too many reruns of Sex in the City. I mean, come on, he's gonna be all sweaty and like hammering stuff. God, I am just gonna have to show up unannounced, you know, casually in my black negligee. You know, borrow a cup of sugar or something. Of course, you'll be MIA. You think you can do that for your dear old undersex best friend? Mary, you are too much. <laughs> God, I'm getting all hot just thinking about it. Froyo? Yeah. All right, five more minutes and then no more iPad for the day. Okay, Mom. Come have a seat. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Lose your pantry here, open this right up. Pull out your funky 70s decor at the top and bring your cabinets higher to create more space. And then, right here, is where I think we could build you a brand new island. You know, maybe put your stove top on it or your sink. This all looks amazing. Okay, then. Oh, and don't worry, I will keep to the budget, but... You know, I thought you deserved a few extra perks. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay. <laughs> but I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Very nice. What are you doing here? I've always wanted an all-white kitchen. Yeah. These are just some ideas I have as far as um, accents and shades. It's probably not great, but... I don't know. Your choices are perfect. 
Honestly, you have a real natural eye for design, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> ah. Close your eyes. My eyes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. You can trust me. I promise I won't hurt you. Suck. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Come on, fresh squeezed and organic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now. Close my eyes again. Please. <laughs> Wait. Mm. Delicious, right? Mm. It melts in your mouth. That's good. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Delizy. It's a bakery in the town over. It's one of my favorites. I thought you said you were from out of town. Well, I am, but uh, you know, my mom and I used to go there when we were in town. Uh, my uncle lives close by. Where does your mom live now? She still come to town? Uh, no. Are you close? Very, yeah. Um, she had unfaithful husbands, and I was responsible to look out for her. Well, we should probably wrap this up and get back to your place. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Jamie's probably gonna be home from his lesson soon. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Elliot, right? Uh, yeah. Can I help you with something? Well, I don't know. Maybe. I'm Mira. I'm Laura's friend. We met the other day in the backyard. I'm a neighbor. Right, 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 right. Um, she's in the office. Oh, great. So, Elliot, where are you from? A little island close by. Try me. Danton. Get out of town. My sister lives there. Do you ever get back there? No. Really? Why not? It's so beautiful over there. There's nothing there for me anymore. Really? She's not grilling you with too many questions, is she? Oh, we're just getting to know each other. She's sizing up my hammer. You are on to me. <laughs> or so I wish. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so do you have a girlfriend, Elliot? Are you taken, or so to speak? She's like that with everyone, I swear. Oh, come on. He's your contractor. I'm your best friend. Shouldn't we all just, you know, get to know each other? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. No girlfriend. Wow. You no girlfriend? Come on. Well, I do have my eye on someone. Exciting. <laughs> well, she is a lucky girl. Bye, ladies. Really? <laughs> You're too much. Yes. Wow. I know. Yeah, he said he had a late meeting with, um, Hannah, I think her name was? Yeah, his assistant. Yeah, so he said. Yeah, I can't see any obvious damage, but I do think you might need a new one. Shoot. We just got those covers, too. I'm going to have to go in there and make sure that no one tried to break in. Yeah, yeah. Um, come get me when you're done. I'm just going to put my tools away.
Hey. Hey, what's wrong? <sighs> nothing, nothing. Let's just go. Wait, wait, wait. It doesn't look like nothing. What's wrong, Laura? You can trust me. I have been so naive. I really should have known. I'm not following. I found these here on the boat. And you think they're Pianos. Pianos. You see? You see it too, right? He's having an affair with her, isn't he? I, I, I can't say. You just did. What are you doing, Laura? There's this dating site that she's on. It's called, um, ah, shoot, I can't remember. It's a... Hot Young and Single? That's it. <laughs> purple, purple panties. It's also freaking disgusting. Hey, hey. You want to come on to my boat for a cup of tea? Yeah, thanks, Mira. Okay, I'll be home for dinner. Thanks. Bye. Is Jamie okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he's just gonna have a play date for a little bit longer. I just need a little time to process this all. Yeah. Plus, he loves to have play dates with Mira's son. They're both only children, so. I was an only child, too. I always wanted to have a sibling. I always thought I would have more. Greg doesn't want to. No? When we first met, he was on board, but somehow our visions just changed. I guess it's all really changed now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm in shock. Listen. Do you believe that all things happen for a reason? When one door closes, Where were you tonight? It was work. With Hannah? No, I... I mean, we, we were working late. She's been so involved in this case that I... I made her stay. You made her stay. 
I had her taking notes. Right. Notes. Okay. Come here. Don't. That's great, honey. <laughs> Just watch your finger. Elliot showed me how to do it. Mm. Well, where's Daddy? You left for work already. Mm. You're really great with kids. <laughs> do you want some of your own someday? Uh, I do. But, you know, just being a stepdad would do too. Regardless of how I get kids, I'm a firm believer that family should be a man's everything. Go change your shoes. Charlie and Mira are out front, and you're going to go to Science World with them today. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I'm going to go get cleaned up. Yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Nice surprise. 
You look like a damsel in distress. <laughs> you could say that. I think we need to talk. All right, grab the bow. Help me bring her in. Thanks. Look at those two lovebirds, huh? Bring back memories. Me and you that summer at Watson Lake, I think we christened every inch of that dock. They just came off Dirk Hirsch's boat. Last week, Tony found them on his, and Colin just found a pink bra on their boat. It was an A cup, so clearly not barbarous. Kids these days, huh? Yeah, I found purple underwear on ours. What? Oh, you're kidding, these damn teenagers. I thought somebody was on the boat. They left the flap open. Oh, teenagers, huh? Hey, so what's up? Something's clearly bothering you. It's nothing. Really. You sure? So much, honey. Right here. Oh, beauty. <laughs> hey, Elliot. Hey. Sweet pass. You and I should kick the ball around sometime. Oh, yeah? You play? I am very good at handling balls. <laughs> <clears throat> right, Laura? I wouldn't know. Bye, Mira. OK, have fun. See ya. Look, Mom, Elliot taught me how to pass. Oh, that's really great, honey. Yeah, you know, just a little male bonding. Aw. Hey, buddy. Does your dad ever play with you? Nah, it's not really his thing. Yeah, I guess he's just a little too busy with sailing and work, right? Probably doesn't make much time for you. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well. You got me now, buddy. And I'd love to spend time with you, okay? Hey, you know what? Ta-da! Shh. It's our little secret, okay? Okay. Oh, you guys look like trouble. <laughs> Allie is the best, Mo. Oh, is he? Yeah, what can I say? The little guy has good taste. <laughs> hey, Jamie! Yoo-hoo! You want to come over for a play date for a couple hours? Can I, Mom? Sure, have fun. Hello, buddy. See you, buddy. Hey, thanks for looking out for him. That's really not your job. Yeah. I'm surprised Greg just left him here with you. Well, some fathers are different than others. Yeah, but Greg's a really good father. He's just sometimes preoccupied, that's all. Right. Listen, I need to talk to you about something. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, it's uh, it's about this, actually. Then let's go talk. So, what was it that you wanted to talk about? I think we need to call this off. But why? We were just starting to get somewhere. I'm married. You don't have to be. Greg is never even here, is he? Seems to me he's either sailing or at work. He doesn't respect you, Laura. He doesn't understand the treasure that he has. A woman like you deserves to be put up high on a pedestal, not at the bottom of a man's totem pole. Greg treats me well. He really does. I think I might have been wrong about Hannah. I just need to talk to him and figure it out. This all just feels so serendipitous, though, doesn't it? Jamie and I. You and I. It all just works. Oh, no, Elliot, you're getting way, way ahead of yourself. 
Greg and I have our problems, sure. But I'm fairly certain that he is faithful. No. And now I'm the unfaithful one, and I'm just not that kind of person. I feel so awful. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. these for you my love happy birthday <laughs> please don't and my birthday is tomorrow well you were born overseas weren't you so technically your birthday is today how do you know where i was born i know everything about you my love honey oh there you are i thought you were still inside hey man hey Flowers. Yeah, um, Elliot got them for me for my birthday. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a nice surprise. That's, that's really thoughtful of you, man. And yellow roses. Your favorite. You're good. <laughs> okay, well, I have to get to work. Oh. You and I have to plan that sale one of these days. Hey, we sure do. I should get to work, too. <laughs> I will see you inside, Laura. All right, man, I'll see you later. I should probably get those in some water. You are not going sailing with my husband. You're not going to do anything social with him, OK? You are not to accept any invitations of any kind. Listen, I just thought it would be nice, you know, so he doesn't start to suspect anything. I mean, if you're gonna leave him, it needs to be done with ease. What? I'm not leaving him, Elliot. I can't do this any longer. You can't do this any longer. You're a nice guy. 
but I'm married. I have a family. And, and I honestly thought that Greg was cheating on me. And that is why I hooked up with you, despite him. And I'm really, really sorry. This is over. You, you can't, you can't work for us anymore. You just need to go. Upstairs on the bedside table. Where's Elliot today, Mom? Oh, honey, Elliot's not working for us anymore, okay? He isn't? Nope. No more Elliot. Why don't you go over there and watch your iPad, okay? Jamie, can you get that? It's Doris, here to babysit. <sighs> I'm so sorry I'm late. That's okay, I'm glad you could make it. So where are Bill and Greg? Oh, they went ahead to the restaurant already. I figured we could just drive ourselves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> How are they? Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, my love. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Were you surprised? I was. <laughs> we did it! Nice work, you. That was great. Happy birthday. You totally didn't know. <laughs> Thank you. Just one second. Yeah. Happy birthday, Laura. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how excited Greg was about planning this party. We had secret planning meetings with Mira, like the whole gang. Secret planning meetings? Mm -hmm. Greg had me. Me too. You see that? Yeah. Elliot is not smooth with the lady. <laughs> I know, it's 
So, do you like build houses? <laughs> no. Oh, I, I thought you were renovating Greg and Laura's kitchen. Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay. See you. <laughs> <laughs> see you. All right. Oh, Elliot. Elliot? Hello? Everything okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> Great. Looks like you need a top-up. Uh, yeah, I guess I do. Well, let's get you one, shall we? I would love that. Elliot! Elliot! Wait a minute. I love Laura, but this party's super lame. I was looking for an excuse to get out of here. <laughs> Do you have one for me? I sure do. You didn't really say too much tonight. Come to think of it, you've been pretty quiet lately. We talk about it? Look, I... I know when something's wrong with you. I found these underwear on the boat, and I got it in my head that they were Hannah's, and um, so I went to that website that she was on, and they looked the same, and then I made a big mistake, like a really, really bad mistake, okay, and look, I just look, had look. to... I'm gonna stop you right there, okay? Listen, I know that I haven't always been the best husband in the past. But I've been seeing you a lot clearer lately, and I... I'm sorry. I was such an ass about the renovation. You were totally right, it looks great. And I'm glad that we're doing it. You don't understand. I have to tell you. Don't beat yourself up about mistakes. Okay, you... You're amazing, you... You're an amazing mom, an amazing wife, and I am lucky as hell to have you. You look like you could use some rest. Yeah, I could. I love you. I love you too, Laura. So much. Like it dirty, handsome?
You've got to be kidding me. Are you kidding me? <gasps> you can't get it up? Wow. <sighs> what the hell is this? Are you into Laura? <sighs> you are, aren't you? At the party, you were kind of obsessed with her. You kept staring at her. You like a nutter or something? A nutter would be obsessed with Laura. Honey? Oh. <laughs> uh, I have to go. Okay. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh, Jamie is playing with Charlie over at Marinville's. Okay, I'll go over there soon. <laughs> Listen, when the sailing trip is over, you and I have to go out, just the two of us. Midnight cruise. Deal. That's my girl. <laughs> I love you. Love you. I'll see you later. Bye. You on the ladder? Yeah. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm okay, Mom. I just slipped and it scared me. Jamie, you know you're not supposed to play with any of these things when Mommy's not here. Daddy said that you were at Charlie's. But Elliot was here and I'm allowed on the ladder when it had all this here. Where is Elliot? Where's Elliot? I don't know. Okay. Are you sure you're not hurt? No breaks? No breaks. Okay. Why don't you watch TV, okay? Okay, Mom. Okay. Elliot? In here. What are you doing? Just working, sweetheart. Finishing our new kitchen. Did you see the shed? I made your dream art studio, didn't I? I want to make you happy. Don't you see? Leave. <laughs> hey. Come here. Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. I want you to leave right now. Do you understand? What is wrong with you? I don't know what to say to you. I keep telling you we're done, and you're not hearing me. You can't just break into my house. All of it, it's too much. My mom wants to meet you. And I thought maybe you, Jamie, and I could all go as a family. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, you just need to go, and I mean right now. You're so ungrateful, Laura. I am not interested in having you finish the house or doing any surprises for me. I'm not comfortable in you coming over to my home anymore. Do you understand? No. Let go of me. You and Greg are done, okay? He needs to understand that. I love Greg. I made a mistake. Marrying him? No, by being with you. Let shh, go! Shh, shh, shh. I love you, Laura, okay? You chose me, and now you're mine. I don't have it any other way. Shh. You need to go right now or I'm going to call the police to come and get you. Call the police. 
this. Call the cops to come and get me. If you try to hurt me, try to put me away, I will tell everybody everything. You'll tell everybody everything? Mm -hmm. Jamie. Jamie deserves to know about you and I. But don't worry, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Greg should know too. I'll tell him about us. About what you've done to me. He'll understand. Because he knows that you were meant to be with me. Just me. Let go of me! You're hurting me! You're hurting me! What are you doing to my mom? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. It was just a misunderstanding. Everything's gonna be alright. worked here for 37 years I have an odd question always did like me odd questions shoot I'm looking for someone who used your internet here you got a name not really lots of people use my internet no service up the hill so lucky for me I'm the nearest one to the marina you don't got a name, I can't help you, lady. Uh, purple wallflower? Does that mean anything to you? Purple wallflower? The only wallflower I know is Winnie Hamill. And she does come in here pretty much every morning. Do you know where I can find her? Up the road near Grimley Street. Bluish house, high hedge. Thank you. Now don't tell her I call her a wallflower, you hear? Oh, I won't. <laughs> Thanks. I was looking for Winnie Hamill. Why? Are you Winnie? I'm Laura. I came from the mainland. What do you want? Well, this might sound odd, but are you Purple Wallflower? Did you write something on the internet about a contractor named Elliot? I, I, I have to go. Oh, please, no. I, I just, I really no, need to. No, I know. don't want any more trouble. Please leave me alone. What did he do to you? 
please. I really, really need to know. I almost lost everything because of him. My marriage and family. He's, he's crazy. Who's there, Winnie? Look, I can't talk about it, but just look into what he did to his own mother, okay? That's all you need to know. Mother, what do you mean by that? Elliot is... Did you just say Elliot? Please leave me alone. Call 911. Call 911. Call 911. A mid-20s female has been found murdered in the local marina. Our sources have confirmed that police are calling it a homicide. A police spokesman said it is believed to be Hannah Jopkins of Mackens. Holy crap. Wait, isn't that... Yeah, that's Greg's assistant. That's her name. She was uh, at the party we threw for Laura. No, I took care of it. Yeah. Yeah, I know a guy at the club there. No, I went to tea time. We tea got off at 3.30 Thursday. I wonder if Greg knows. We should probably call him. Hey, huh? Give me your phone. I'll call him now. Yeah, I guess if you're coming from your office. Oh, hang on one sec. Look, uh, Bill's calling on the other line. Yeah. Okay, sure. Well, uh, we'll meet there at 2.15 Thursday. Okay, great, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uproar at this point, wondering is the no answer safe? And will we find out soon as to what the nature of the building is? Hello? Oh! <laughs> 
because we're just at the house. Sometimes Greg just takes off and goes sailing. It's bizarre. I'm worried. Greg would have said something. Have you gotten a hold of him yet? No, he's probably sailing through a dead zone or something. So they don't have any leads, huh? No, they say they don't. But I mean, the cops are gonna have to talk to Greg at some point, get some insight, right? Find out if she was dating somebody. You know, the party, she did say she was gonna go and hook up with somebody from one of those dating sites. I don't know. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Honey, you doing okay? Hey, so what did you want to talk to me about? You said you had something important. First time here? Yes, it is. How did you guess? Well, people don't come here for the tea. They come for my baking. Would you like a cannoli? Maybe a muffin. Okay. Cranberry orange? It's my history wall. Do you know him, Elliot? Oh, sure. He used to come in with his mother when he was a little boy. It's too bad she didn't have an easier time with him. A very peculiar child. Peculiar how? Well, if you must know, Elliot's father left Stella before he was even born. So she remarried when he was quite young to give him a father figure, you know, just so he'd have a normal life. But normal was not in their cards. Always a new mess she was trying to get him out of. And he was very protective of his mother and very involved with her personally, you know, right up to the end. The end? House fire on Danton Island. Are you talking about that house fire that's been in the papers? The unsolved one? No. See, Stella remarried this lovely man, and they built this beautiful house on Denton Island. And the next I hear, she and her husband are both dead in a house fire. Oh, my God. Such a shame. I mean, Elliot never had a chance to make up with his mother. Everything seemed to be fine. I mean, he got a job working on a house somewhere. And then the trouble started. He got fired from his job. Stella had to look after him again, but her new husband, I mean, he didn't like, well, what grown man likes another grown man in his home? You know what? I have to go. I'm sorry. I, um, thank you so much. I'll come back another time. Thank you. You haven't seen him recently, have you? 
Well, yes, you see, that's the thing. He's been coming in a lot recently. Just last night, even. Came to get a cannoli for his fiancée. His fiancée? Yes, says he's getting married to a widowed artist. Lovely lady lives just one town over. He also said he's getting a new stepson. I mean, to be honest, he looked really, really good. I mean, not like he was after his mother's passing. Oh, perhaps I've said too much. Mira, I'm on my way to pick up Jamie right now, but um, if you see Elliot near the house, can you just call me right away? Or better yet, call the police. Hi, you've reached Greg Halpern. I'm sorry, Mr. Call. I'll get right back to you. Greg. I love you. I love you so much. If you get this, can you please, please just call me back. Oh, thank goodness. Daddy's home. And it smells like he made dinner. It sure does. Why don't you go upstairs and wash your hands? Honey. Honey. Honey, why didn't you call me? I was so worried. Hold me. What? What? Listen, I know we've had some miscommunication, and I really want to apologize. Do you want some wine? It's aged well. It's our anniversary bottle. I want you to leave. <laughs> Laura, you are the most precious thing in the entire world to me, okay? I dream about you day and night. So why are you so mad? I thought you'd be happy. What should I be happy about? Where's Greg? I took care of them. You took care of them? Who did you take care of? Where's Greg? Always about Greg. Are you hungry? Mommy? Stay up there! Don't you come down here! Where is he? Stop talking about Greg! <laughs> you just like her, aren't you? Are you talking about your mother? Am I just like your mother? What happened to her? What did you do to her? Don't you talk about my mother! She died in a house fire. And how did that fire start? How did it start? I think it's time I teach you a lesson, Laura. You don't want to treat me with the same love and respect that I treat you with, so you need to be taught a lesson. No. Don't you think? No, please, no. I mean, are you seriously going to pick him over me? Oh, I won't allow you to do that again. I have done way too much for you already. Mommy? Go to your room, Jamie! He wet his pants. I need to change them. He's scared. Are you hungry, buddy? Why don't you come for a nice meal, okay? Seems like your mother needs some discipline, J-Mo. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Walk! Get up! Come on, Jamie! Mommy needs some discipline! Have you learned your lesson yet? I have. 
I have, I swear. I don't want to hurt you, Laura. But you keep turning me away. Disrespecting us. What we have. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I want us to be a family. For you to be my husband. For you and me to be a couple. A couple? You can trust me. I love you. I see that now. Do you remember the blanket that you covered me with? <laughs> I kept it. I wanted to have it near me so I could always feel you. You're always so romantic, Elliot. You're just always so kind. That's because I'm a good husband and partner. Not like those other men. Exactly. You know how to treat a woman. I do. So please, untie me. I love you. I love you too. finished his dinner. Jamie, honey, why don't we do what Elliot asks? Go ahead and eat. You see, he's a good boy. He's a real good boy. One? Sure, yeah, sure, that'd be great. Do they see you, Mom? Wait, Mom, wait! Get away from the window! I... Move! I was just looking. I said get away from the window now! Come on. Upstairs. Come on. Let's all go upstairs. Come on. Everyone upstairs, now. Let go of him! You're gonna spend a little bit of time in here, okay? There you go. Hey. Come here. What's the matter? You don't want me anymore? No. No, I want you.
to run over to Mira and Bill's, okay? Okay. Run over to Mira and Bill's and tell them we need help, okay? You got that? You gonna be okay? It's gonna be alright. Just remember, keep running, okay? Just keep running. Run! 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 Ah! <sighs> 
man. You're mine. No. No. No means no. So you found my treat. Uh, your treat? Yeah, I met this really nice lady down at the marina and she turned me on to this fantastic bakery and they, oh, they make the best cannoli. Now I know I'm on a diet, but sometimes you just gotta cheat. Mm. <laughs> 